Why are you being told not to watch this? Every media outlet is saying this is some far-right QAnon movie, even though the movie doesn't mention QAnon at all. The movie was finished in 2018, but was shelved by Disney, and both Amazon and Netflix rejected it. But why? I had no idea this movie even existed, but when the media was telling me that I shouldn't see this movie, I'm gonna go see the movie. The movie is based on a true story where over 100 trafficked people were rescued during Operation Triple Take. Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom has become one of the biggest box office hits of the year, raking in over $140 million across the US. The controversies, QAnon. There are zero mentions of QAnon in this movie. What they're doing is attaching the actor's own personal beliefs and convictions to the movie itself. Because apparently the lead actor is conservative and has said some of his beliefs out loud and I mean, to each their own, you believe what you wanna believe. But here's the deal. The entire point of an actor is to portray a character. I'm going to a movie to watch the movie and watch the actors portray a character and follow the storyline. I'm not gonna sit here and do a whole diatribe and really look into each and every actor and their own personal beliefs that they have. That's doing entirely too much to just go sit and watch a movie. The film is exaggerated. I have a quick question about this one because people are saying, oh, the movie's exaggerated. They're adding in things, taking out things from the operation. Pause. Aren't there books that have turned into movies, but the movie doesn't really match up with the book? Aren't some things exaggerated? Like every single movie made in existence. Of course, it's gonna have some things that were added or taken away to keep the viewer's attention, but the moral of the story exists, the operation exists, the, the actual plot and the mission of the movie gets across to the viewer. So I don't understand why there's so many people harping on this fact when literally everything in Hollywood is exaggerated. Hollywood. People are saying, oh, this movie is furthering the conspiracy that the Hollywood elites are protecting these kinds of people. Well, the movie started in 2015, was finished in 2018 under 20th Century Fox. They were gonna put it out. Disney bought Fox and Disney said uh, no, and they shelved it from it ever coming out. Why? We don't know. So then they tried to take the film to Netflix and Amazon and they said no too. We negotiated. I took the uh, movie uh, out of Disney and then I started knocking doors with Netflix, Amazon, and other studios and they all rejected it. Why? We don't know. But what we do know is that Amazon greenlit a movie called Cuties back in 2020, if we all remember that, and well, that movie's very disturbing. This double standard is why some people think there is a hidden agenda. Because how did Cuties get greenlit and not this movie? Fast forward to a lot of legal battle and trouble five years later, the movie has now been released under Angel Studios. Crowdfunding. At the very end of the movie, the lead actor encourages you to scan a QR code to buy more tickets and share it with others. Kind of like a pay it forward scheme so that you buy the movie and other people can go see it for free. We don't want finances to be the reason someone doesn't see this movie. So Angel Studios boldly has set up a pay it forward program where you can pay for someone else's ticket who might not otherwise see it. You can even go on their website and apply to get a ticket for free too. And personally, I don't see a problem with this. I think it's a dope idea to really crowdfund and really a, a way to engage your audience who really likes the movie to go buy tickets for their friends and family. If anything, it does threaten uh, Hollywood and the original way of doing promo because this movie has made over $100 million just by word of mouth. I mean, there has, there's been little marketing, but a lump sum of this has been just people spreading the word and doing reviews. And overall, this movie really did stress me out. Both Taken and this movie have to deal with human trafficking but this movie takes it to an extreme new level. Sound of Freedom shows you everything without showing you everything. It is the most, it's literally like a psychological thriller. That's the only thing I can think about. Taken was more like action-y focused and the crimes and the shootouts. This was more uncomfortable. That first hour was extremely hard to sit through. Uh, I almost got up and left. I cried three times during the movie. It's just very raw and real, but obviously it's in theaters, like you're not gonna see anything too crazy, but it's more so how they frame it and what they're saying and the silence and the shut door, it's a lot. But, but I, I do recommend people to go see it. And even after the movie, the only thing political that comes to mind is just wanting tighter border security. That's pretty much it. That's the only thing I can think of leaving that movie and wanting to get political about it. It would be having a tighter border security. But other than that, there were no politics in the entire movie, no conspiracy theories, no nothing. It literally was just about human trafficking and saving some children. I don't understand the big hubbubaloo about all of this uh, and the pushback and why people shouldn't go watch it, this, that, and the other. When I left the theater, I was just so confused and just sitting in my car like, 
this is what people are saying we shouldn't be watching this is what people are arguing about and making hit pieces on in the media if anything this movie should be bringing us all together to really highlight and focus on the most inhumane parts of our society so many people are aware of it and then maybe hell who knows some people gain the passion to go after this career and really bust down these horrible horrible crimes because hell i left the movie like damn let me join the department of homeland security because the poor babies and it's real that's the most disturbing thing about all of this is that it's real it's out there it exists but what can we do to really be the change to stop it all at the end of the day i do think that everybody should go see this movie i highly recommend it and i thank you for taking the time to watch this video and the review be sure to head below the like button to leave a comment and let me know what you think about the movie if you've seen it or if you're gonna go watch it yourself we're on a road to 100k subscribers on youtube which is insane to think that that is already about to happen i'm so grateful for all of y'all here and taking the time to share my content subscribe it means the world to me be sure if you want to support the channel go ahead over to amirodom.com you can join my membership and private discord where we're having a lot of fun over there playing games live streams hanging out the whole nine but moral of the story thank you for your time here thank you for supporting the content and i hope that you're having a great day and that you understand that no one can change your life but you so do what you need to do to put your best self forward i'll catch you in the next video deuces